I would say wisdom teeth are one of our more common procedures and that's because most people need their wisdom teeth out. There are some people who don't. Our goal is to give you all the information so you can make the decision if these teeth need to be removed or not. Um, often they do need to be removed and we like to catch them early before it becomes more difficult. Wisdom teeth come during the age of wisdom, um, which in the old age, um, by the time you were 16, 17, you could gain most of your knowledge in life and where, is, where that term is coined. Um, today, uh, we see patients ranging from 15 to 20 years old who have wisdom teeth that are coming in, who are causing problems, and with an evaluation, we can recommend either they need to be removed or other things that can help you maintain them. Anybody who's having pain in their wisdom teeth, who maybe is having orthodontic therapy and they don't want their wisdom teeth to interrupt with their uh, orthodontics, people who are worried about damaging the second molar behind the wisdom tooth because it's not coming in at the right angle, um, that's the main important thing. If you can get your wisdom teeth out before they cause problems, then it can save you damage to the adjacent teeth and also sometimes serious infections. They often come in uh, half covered with bone or tissue and that's where the problem is. People are not able to brush and maintain them even if they have diligent hygiene that these teeth can still get infected and cause damage to the adjacent teeth. Generally, wisdom teeth extractions um, is a very quick process. Most people expect it to be much longer, but typically the procedure is 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes shorter. Um, most people undergo IV sedation, so they can come in, be relaxed, and not know that the procedure is happening and wake up uh, feeling comfortable and relaxed. Coming in and out of the office that day can take about an hour. The procedure itself only takes 20 to 45 minutes, depending on the level of difficulty. And most people only need a day or two of downtime and pain medicine afterwards.